Many believe donating to the homeless is a bad thing, but that's not true. When you donate your own money and or supplies, you can help them turn over a new leaf. Your contribution can help provide hope to some of those who need it most. Instead of throwing your old clothes away, donate them to a homeless shelter. Donating to a homeless shelter is a huge impact on those who are in need for help. If you're not happy with some of your clothes, have a kind heart to give it to some of the homeless. One's money towards a homeless shelter provides approximately 45,000 bed nights and serves about 105,000 hot meals to 1,200 different adults experiencing homelessness each year. There are numerous homeless shelters in New Mexico where one can donate their time and energy to help them. A homeless single dad and his son in Denver had their lives transformed by the kindness of philanthropist Leon Logothetis, who is traveling around the world to perform random acts of kindness. Hey, you awake? Hey, my man. I just got here a couple of days ago. I had a job set up and some housing arrangements set up. The housing arrangement fell through. Right now, I'm homeless. James Moss gave up his life in New York to give his son, one-year-old Z, a better life. You know, most people don't want to share their pain. I want to say thank you. And the way I'm going to thank you is by giving you $1,000. Thank you so much. Leon's video inspired someone to create a GoFundMe page for the single dad, and in just five days, over $35,000 has been raised to help them get a car and a camper. James works as a barber and is permitted to bring his son to work. I'm so thankful and so grateful for every one of you guys that put you know, your prayers out for us and you know, donated what you could. I love you all. Leon has written a book, The Kindness Diaries, to help ignite goodwill and transform lives around the world. What an incredible, heartwarming gesture. Be sure to watch Inside Edition. Volunteering for the Homeless. We could create programs that allow people to volunteer at places like libraries or community centers. They could also volunteer to help clean up the city and help plant trees. This would allow them to put this on their job locations to help with more ease. The more volunteering they do, the better it looks on the resume or application while getting a job. Um, cool. Um, hi, my name is Kevin. I started volunteering in 2014 um, and now I'm a data analyst. Hi, my name is Namra. I started volunteering when I was around 16 or 17. Um, currently, I'm um, a retail assistant. I do it here and there because I'm studying still. What made me uh, motivated to volunteer was um, kind of found it hard to get a job. I wanted to get more confidence. I wasn't a very confident person. I was quite shy and I didn't really like speaking in public. I've done volunteering for um, a charity called Made in Hackney as um, IT support. I volunteered in local nurseries as like a um, teaching assistant. I had to go in a school, in a school and do a workshop and these kids were really rowdy, so they wanted to go home. They had wanted to watch TV, they didn't want to be there. So it was kind of trying to get their attention and it's made me learn to be more calm and not get um, stressed out or get anxious or like give up. I was looking for jobs and then I found out about Task Squad and they were helping young people to get jobs and through their volunteering experience. So I kind of jumped onto that um, and it was great because I had this volunteering experience but I didn't know like how do I put it into my CV and how do I show someone that I have that experience. So I got connected with Task God, um, I think through another Facebook campaign. Ever since I came across them, signed up to them, um, I think they've been a massive help. Through Task Squad, I think I've done things with um, Sky. Um, I've worked in retail, as I've said, um, and yeah, I'm at my current role um, as a data analyst. I would say my experience volunteering helps you find paid work. 
because you have you get transferable skills which you can talk about in interviews and your CV. Well, I would say everyone should really get involved. Um, yeah, because as I've said before, it's um, a very good way to make friends, communicate, um, and you might even learn a new skill that you might want to um, develop. Yeah, I just think it, it allows you to be a well-rounded person for when you step into a workplace. Um, I think people should get involved in volunteering um, to help them be more confident. I think um, sometimes you might think you're confident or you might not think you're confident, but when you're actually in a work situation, it's totally different. People can go homeless for many reasons, such as unemployment, personal or family crisis, debt, and those who abuse substances. But we do not know exactly why they went homeless, yet people are quick to judge and label them as lazy. In reality, these people just want to work and make a living so that they no longer have to live in the harsh conditions that they do. Finding a job can be extremely hard for them, which leads to more issues. To solve this problem, people are volunteering to help them make resumes and to help get them ready for interviews. They also help preparing for the job and training them with the skills they require. We are back with a great story. It's about this man right here, David Casares. He's a web developer, homeless, out of a job, but not for much longer. Rebecca Jarvis here with this story. Hey, Georgia, I love this story because this is not your typical job search strategy, but in this case, it turned out to be the perfect pitch for David Casares. It's the photo that launched 200 job opportunities. Unemployed web developer David Casares wearing his finest tie, handing out his resume on a Silicon Valley street, holding this sign. Homeless, hungry for success, take a resume. I told myself all I need is just one person you know, to take my resume and say, hey, you know what, I'm going to give an opportunity to this guy. His sign getting the attention of Jasmine Schofield. If I were in his position, I would want someone to help me. After speaking to him for just a few minutes, she shared his story on social media, writing, Today I saw this young homeless man asking for people to take a resume rather than asking for money. Please RT so we can help David out. Hundreds of job interviews poured in from top tech companies. Netflix, Pandora, Apple, Google, Amazon, um, that I can think of. Bitcoin even offered to relocate him to Tokyo. Casares expressing his gratitude on Twitter, writing, Thank you everyone for the outpouring of support. I am glad to be an inspiration for you all. Casares called it a make or break moment. He says he wanted to keep his head up. He was determined to find a job, but this was his last stop. If it didn't work, he'd be headed home back to his family in Texas. And I have to say, just a little advice here, Bitcoin versus Netflix, Apple, Google. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't know what he's going to take. We don't, we don't know what he's going to do, but I would say unless they're paying for you to move to Tokyo, seriously yeah. consider those other options. More good advice. Yeah. <laughs> but he has so many options, which is incredible. It's great. Fantastic. Picture. Good for him. Great story, Rebecca.